So for a lot of Lost Ark players, I know this may be their first real raid experience. I don't really think of Argos as a raid because you could really just face tank the whole fight. Vaulton is going to be the first boss that will test your friendships, it will frustrate you, and all of that built up rage will turn into ecstasy when you finally get the kill. This isn't going to be a guide video, there are a dozen great ones out there already. I'm going to talk about having a raid mentality to mentally prepare you for what you are going to face. Then I will talk about a few mechanics in detail that do give a lot of groups trouble and how my group solve those problems. First tip is the most important, and it is don't forget to take a break. I would say for every hour you raid, or no more than two hours, take a five to 10 minute break. Go get some water, splash some water on your face, stretch, walk around some, do anything but sit in your chair and stare at the screen more. There is a saying that when you raid, your first attempt is always your best. This is because for your first attempt, you are fresh. You aren't fatigued yet from the constant pulls and wiping. While it is good to progress, it is also good to refresh. My kill happened two pulls after we decided to take a 10 minute break because we noticed ourselves regressing for messing up the first phase over and over. I think it was like five times in a row. Now we're going to talk about learning from mistakes. This fight is a little different than most traditional raids you come across. Typically in a raid, bosses gain more and more mechanics as you get them lower. In this fight, he doesn't gain mechanics. Instead, his same mechanics become more and more punishing for failing them as he gets lower. This gives you time to practice for the entire fight at the beginning of the fight, rather than having to get the boss to 25% in order to practice for the last mechanic that you have only seen once. Now, the problem I see with most groups is that if the mechanic isn't going to kill you, why should you bother dodging it? Now, just because they aren't deadly at the beginning of the fight doesn't mean you shouldn't try to dodge them. You need to be using that time to practice dodging those mechanics because later on when both sides of the arena break, those same mechanics will kill you. I watched a group the other night wipe for five hours and get the ghost phase multiple times but always fall short. After those five hours, they started to argue about how a certain mechanic worked. How do you do a fight for five hours and still not understand a mechanic that you have been seeing the entire time? This is the first fight you can't just outgear and face tank everything, which will lead me into my next tip. Asking questions is extremely important if you don't understand why you keep getting hit by something. Don't feel like a burden, and don't feel stupid if you don't understand something. If your group isn't willing to answer your question, they probably aren't worth running with in the first place. Different classes have different perspectives of the boss, so someone may notice something about a mechanic that others will not see. I, for the life of me, couldn't figure out how to dodge a mechanic in Gate 1. Now I'm a veteran raider who has competed with other top groups for world first in raids across many different games. My old raid leaders would come and ask me to raid with them in the next upcoming MMO all the time. I wasn't afraid or ashamed to ask my group, how do I avoid getting hit here? They gave me a simple answer that I would not have seen because they saw the fight differently than me. Now at the same time, don't get annoyed if someone asks a question. You should be happy because if they are asking questions, that means they are trying to learn the fight and do better. What you don't want is a player who is dying constantly and says nothing. I bet a lot of you have played Dark Souls before, if not seen some clips of the game. Now Valton is a big guy and has really slow attacks. He is basically a Dark Souls boss, so treat him like one. Let him attack first, move to the correct safe spot, and then attack him. You will do more damage by being patient because you won't be on the floor for half the fight. Even if you are running something like Adrenaline, 6 seconds is a very long time and there will be plenty of time to see what he does first, move to the correct spot, and then attack. That's enough about how you should raid, let's talk about a few mechanics that give a lot of groups trouble in Gate 2. Let's start with the most difficult one, being the triple counter. Sure, you can cheese it by spamming shields, but this mechanic only takes a little bit of communication and it becomes a breeze every time. First, you need to pre-designate who on your team will be the first two counters. 
the third counter should just be everyone else. Now when you see him shoot out this aura, he is about to start the triple counter. You have about 4 seconds to call out which side of the map to clear for the first counter. Typically if Vulton is on the north side, we will call a clear south. If he is on the south side, we'll call a clear north. Now the biggest thing is only the person countering is at the boss, because after they counter, they get an aura around them and anyone who touches that aura also gets silenced. This is why we clear a path for them so no one else gets silenced. Don't feel rushed to get to the boss for the second or third counter. You have about 9 seconds until the next counter happens. After the second counter, follow the first person who countered, then everyone jumps in for the final. The hardest part about this mechanic is actually just avoiding all of the AoE damage from the balls. I see a lot of people struggling with getting to where Vulton is when he comes back down from the axe drops. All you gotta do is watch the minimap. After the third axe drops, you will see his position on the minimap change. That is where he will drop so you can start moving there right away. Look at even though I'm on the other side of the map, I am still able to reach him with ease because I know where he will drop beforehand. Vulton's counter mechanic is probably the one most people get confused on. I've heard people call it a few different things, stand at the hilt being the most common. If you don't know what a hilt is, it's just the bottom of his weapon. I've even heard one group say go grab his dick. Since we got the back attack indicator, this should be an extremely easy mechanic to avoid, yet I still see people get confused by this. The actual AoE is roughly a 270 degree hit around him, meaning you have a lot of safe space. It just needs to be the right space. Starting from the middle of his back attack to basically his dick is all safe. I think what confuses people is that when he is facing a different direction, you may be on his left or right side. This is why you should always just look to see where the bottom of his weapon is. This is probably the most important mechanic you want to practice doing right when it won't kill you, because when you get down to the ghost phase, he will do this often, and because people didn't take it seriously before, because it wouldn't kill them at the beginning, they die to it all the time when it matters. Now this fight is not a DPS check by any means. I know we all have our pride about getting MVP as a DPS, but you won't even get to see the MVP screen if you keep being greedy with your damage. You need to learn to DPS around the mechanics and not DPS into the mechanics. My group was all 1445 to 1460, and we killed Vulton with two people dead early, one at seven minutes left and the other at six meaning we did half the fight down 2 TPS and we still had about a minute to spare before Enrage. Don't worry about DPS until it becomes a problem. If all 8 of you survive the entire 12 minutes and hit the Enrage timer, then you need to start worrying about doing more DPS. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you learned a thing or two, whether it's about the fight itself or just the mindset of going into it. Just remember if you take anything away from this video, it is you need to know how every mechanic works. If you are unsure about anything, don't be afraid to stop pulling for a minute to discuss it. Just mindlessly going in over and over will not help because there will be no lucky run when you don't know what you're doing to begin with. If you want to see my kill video, I'll have the link in the description below.